People in Ghana, they always say, oh, it's Afrobeats or nothing. I'm like, guys, you're wrong. There is a platform for alternative scene here. And it's at the skate park. When I just act a fool, when I get in the mood, I sip my lemon juice, there's nothing more to do. Skateboarding is forbidden in Ghana. You, you are not allowed to skate everywhere. The main idea was to create a safe space for the youth. My name is Sandy and my favorite color is yellow. <laughs> Actually, I put yellow everywhere because I, I believe that yellow for me is black joy. Everything that we are doing is black joy. So I put yellow everywhere. Like I want when people enter my space, they're happy, you know, they bring good vibes. I think Accra for me has the most progressive art scene. I just believe that people don't know about them, but they're already here, you know? It's, it's all about, you know, education. Like, do we take the time to educate people like enough to understand that they have so much potential here? It's just, they never try or they never get the resources and the tools to do it, you know? But as soon as you give them, you see, it's like, boom. Girl, I can see you, I can see you. Girl, I can see you, I can see you. The first member that I met is Ansa. AKA Cousin T. <laughs> AKA Gloria Dennis. I'm an artist, producer, songwriter, DJ. Uh, I'm a part of All My Cousins. Uh, and this is All My Cousins. This is Cozy. This is Sayo, 95, Nara, and Big Leaflet. I remember I discovered his music online. I was like, who is this guy? Like, <laughs> Are they really in Ghana, for real? So I met them through friends and we started, you know, talking about music. It was coming at the house. We were listening to music for like eight hours, non-stop, back to back, you know, like. Anta is a legend, man. He's a genius. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a genius. He has, he's, he's the man behind things, you know, he has big ideas. Ansa has an amazing family and Ansa has an amazing friend. So he introduced me to, to Cozy. Cozy is, for me, is my hero, you know? Like, cause Cozy is, I met him as a DJ actually, which was really crazy because even at that time, he was not even considering himself as a DJ. And we were like, play, just play, just play, you know? And that's also why I'm really connected with them. It's just, I saw them like three, four years ago when, Nobody were really talking about them. They were just doing their things, not really sure about what they were doing. And me, I was like, guys, no, you don't know me. I know, I already see it. We need to work together. Me and Kuzi actually lived together for like a brief while at my place during the lockdown. And that's how me and Kuzi actually got tight. And then 95 came over as well to my house. We had a little studio set up there. I've been listening to his music like way before I met him. And I really love his vocals. I feel like he has one of the most distinct, like, 100%. like yeah, voices. And like, soon as you hear, it's one of those voices that soon as you hear, you're like, yeah, that's 95. When I first knew about Nara's, like, like back, 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 she did like this one cover of a uh, that separate Jamna song a long time ago, and that she like blew up, and that's how I knew her even before like she became my friend. Nara shows that like, you can do a lot of stuff, you can have a lot of interests, and you don't have to be taken to something that. Yeah. That's what I love about Nara. When I connect with all my cousins, all the members, Shrek, etc., it's it's my family. They are friends first before we work together. So Shrek, for example, for me is my big teddy bear. I I I love him like from the bottom of my heart. Like naturally, one day I was like, Do you want to join South Ghana? Do you want to work with us every day? Like, because you needed a job and stuff. And I was like, Come and learn something. When I met Shrek, he, he wasn't really he wasn't into music, but like I, I liked him because he was very generous. One of the few friends from high school that I still keep. And now we start all my cousins together, like you know, we are doing shit together. So yeah, that's that's my boy, that's my homie. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a sick DJ, big leaflet. Yeah. Yes. Coming soon. Yes. We're yeah. sitting near you. Say <laughs> <laughs> aka Sensei. <laughs> AKA yeah. L with, the lyrics. Is really dope, <laughs> <laughs> he's one of my best friends, like yeah. That's my homie. That's 
That's my cousin right there. <laughs> South Ghana is not just a random NGO or just an Instagram account, it's a collective. The idea is really to explain to people that if we are working together, we can achieve so many things. We can achieve maybe the unexpected. It's a movement now, it's a surf culture, skate culture. We really want to encourage people to, to see their freedom inside them. Our whole thing is just making things that seem difficult to achieve a lot less difficult for people and community is everything. So when the collective Our Magazine started, um, naturally uh, they imagined already a party. And I like that actually because Our Magazine first it's like cousins coming together to discuss, to connect, to listen to good music, etc. And I was like, yeah, we should do it at the park. And the first one was already crazy. But the last one <laughs> was mad. <laughs> I might just act a fool. When I get in the mood, I sip my lemon juice. There's nothing more to do. I might just act a fool. When I get in the mood, I sip my lemon juice. There's nothing more to do. Wish the niggas did it all night then, and we all feeling alright. Got us looking all far in life just to hold them story. We all getting all into it. Shots for the whole night. Everybody till we all right. Could depend on the drug side. What I love with that space is like, it's us. It's not just one person, it's everybody. All my cousins is more than just like a group of friends doing stuff. It's also like a community for people to just explore what sound means or like what you can get from sound. What New Era means to us is kind of like longevity. To see how relevant it still is today for us is what we take from that brand. It's like how can we stay this relevant for as long as we can, we can possibly go. And it's really rare in, in Africa, in Ghana in general. That's also why with Vibrate we are connecting to the world. And when I say the world is like Africa first, like, we have people from South Africa, from Uganda, from Nigeria, Togo, Ivory because they are coming every month. And that's my first reward, you know, like, that's, that I'm proud. I'm proud of this. I want to make sure that they, they believe in themselves and they, they discover the resources, the talent from here first. Then if we can connect with everybody else, it's beautiful. But having that platform already existing now, it's already changing the game. The first time I heard about Vibrate Studio, I think from here someone told me, you know, like it's a studio for recording and stuff. I was like, oh, so people can book and pay and all that thing was like, it's for free. And I was like, wait, it's for free? Working on music, our speakers are not like really professional. So we work on the music, sometimes we record here, but we need uh, good speakers to listen to the music proper and mix proper. Coming up as maybe a young artist, you know, you have to find the money to pay for studio time. Even being there the few times that I've been there, I've met so many artists that are utilizing the space, which I think is so cool. The community in Ghana, they are ready. The, the community is ready. It's ready to uh, create, to build, to connect with the world. They just need support. With New Era, what I want to do is to give them the resources and the tools to make things happen. That's why I love this event because I feel like you can dance, you can connect with other people, you can just sit, you can enjoy skateboarding. Yes, we, you can't see this anywhere in West Africa at the moment. So I'm really excited about what's next. Skate.